Yes, I know, another one. Blowing up the YouTube. <laughs> Got my pipe done I was working on today and it's afternoon time. Still finishing up my coffee. I got the shop cleaned up a little bit, reorganizing a little bit. I'm gonna try another one. Ken Byron Ventures, River of Deceit. Had this once already. I'm gonna smoke it now in a cob. I smoked it in my mirror first time. Very, very sweet, strong smelling. It is all Virginia blend. It's Bright's, Orange, and Stowe Virginias. And it's definitely cased with something. It smells like plums. It smells like, if you remember as a kid, that, that uh, sweet tart candy. That's exactly what this smells like. I wouldn't recommend putting this in a briar unless you're going to use it just strictly for aromatics. I don't know why I try to hold this stuff up in here like this. You can't. It's just a ribbon cut. Very nice looking. Let me get a bowl packed and we'll get into it. Okay, we got this fired up. Like I said, very sweet. Very fruity, tangy, citrus. Wet out of the bag. I almost would have preferred to try this without whatever casing or topping it's on. But nonetheless, it's just okay. Burns pretty fast. I get a little bit of the uh, chemical taste as well in this one. Easy on the retro hail. It's definitely, if you're an aromatic smoker, you'd probably definitely like this. Like I said, I would definitely smoke this in a mirror or a cob. Just okay, and for the price, like I said, they're a few dollars more than uh, big time manufacturers, so take that in consideration. But if it's something you want to try, something new, as I stated, I don't know. I heard different rumors that some of the stuff he put together himself, other stuff I heard is sourced. If you know, let me know. But I love the brights, the orange, and the Stowe Virginias together. Just okay. Definitely very sweet. I'm finishing up out here today. I got this poker sitter finished. Look at it! The lighting out here I know sucks. I'll 
take you around real fast and show you what I'm trying to get organized. It's still a mess right now. It's a work in progress, but uh, that was my old blaster there. Got my smoker all cleaned up. My goal is, if you didn't already know, this is a 24 by 24 two car garage. And we put our cars in here in the winter. So what I have to do is I have to work around being able to still put our vehicles in here if I need to. My heater back there in the corner, that's where I always sit. So basically I'm working around the shop. <laughs> I was digging through some of my uh, shop manual, equipment manuals and tools and stuff like that. And yeah, I got <laughs> lots of stuff to go through and see if I even still have and throw away and just never ends but like I said if you have tried this leave some comments below I'd be curious to hear your thoughts I actually checked reviews on this and there's only one review from uh, of course JM, JM inks but it's it's certainly not a bad blend but uh, it's it's definitely a mood smoke As cased as it smells uh, and tastes, it still doesn't leave no tongue bite, so that's good. Definitely something different. Stay safe.